Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about building room boats. Okay, probably should put that in quotes, but let's do some definitions first. Noise transmission, sound leaving and entering the room, disturbing others, disturbing you, right? That's noise transmission, the transmission of noise through solids, okay? So our room, we have to have a barrier to stop that noise. And it must be built like an ocean going boat, and here's why. It's got to have strong walls, sides, because of the wave pressure from the ocean and from low frequency pressure inside the room, right? Cannot leak, which is a middle and high frequency issue. I see studios all the time, you know, they have trouble with their doors, the molding and stuff around the doors. And there's ways to design the door, but you don't have that molding issue because it's, it's never going to seal right, no matter what kind of molding or strips that you use. That weather stripping and nonsense. You gotta have the door and the frame all work together as a single unit. So you can't be doing door and frame and then adding in a strip. No, the door and the frame have to work together to stop everything. Plug all the leaks for the middle and high frequency. Strength and seal must match the frequency and amplitude of the noise. So how we build our boat, how we seal it, we use liquid rubber better. Here you go with water, right? Cannot leak because sound is like water. We'll find the weakest link and go through it. The boat or our barrier is phys physically isolated from the BTU in the treatment roll. Remember, we have three walls in the room. We have noise, BTU, which is hot and cold, and then we have the treatment side of it, which is the absorption and diffusion. These are all separate walls. They all have to be physically isolated from each other. However, there's a lot of times the BTU and the treatment wall can work together. There's sometimes when the noise and the BT wall could work together, but not too often. So you just have to see about the frequency and amplitude of the noise. So airborne energy and vibrational acoustics, we got the two issues going on. With the treatment, it's the airborne. With the noise, it's the vibrational acoustics. So building room boats, noise is a pain. So you got to... You got to measure because you don't want to spend one dollar more on your boat than you have to. You're never going to get it back, right? Building room boats. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.